Welcome back to the fourth episode of Getting Started with Intel Edison. On the previous episode, I showed you how to manipulate some files in Linux running on the Edison to toggle an LED. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how to take your Edison and connect it to your local Wi-Fi. To do that, we're gonna run a script that comes preloaded on the Edison. But first, here's your fun fact for the day. It turns out, the term Wi-Fi doesn't actually stand for anything. It was a term fabricated by Interbrand, which was a brand and design consulting firm back in 1999. They wanted something a little catchier than IEEE 802.11b direct sequence, where IEEE 802.11 is the most prominent protocol used for wireless networking today. It was chosen to be a play on words with hi-fi or high fidelity, and this was used to describe high quality sound systems. Wi-Fi does not stand for wireless fidelity. That doesn't actually mean anything. To connect your Edison to Wi-Fi, we're gonna be using the configure Edison script, which should come preloaded on the Octo build, which you downloaded from Intel's site. To do this, first make sure that you've updated the firmware on your Edison, which we did back in episode two. Let's get started. All we need to do is connect our Edison to our computer. If you're using the Arduino breakout board, connect both USB micro cables from the board to your computer. Use your favorite serial terminal program and select the right COM port for the Edison and log in. Don't forget to set the baud rate to 115,200. Press enter to see the login terminal. Log into your Edison. If you've not changed the password, the login name is just going to be root and there will be no password. All we need to do is enter the command configure underscore Edison space dash dash setup. This is a program or a script set up by Intel that will allow us to configure our Edison for the first time. Or you can run this again anytime you want. From here, we just have to follow the command prompts. Pick a unique name for your Edison if you want to choose a unique name. Type it in and press enter. Hit Y and press enter to keep that name. Then you'll want to pick a new password for your Edison. Enter that password, hit enter, and enter it again. When asked to set up Wi-Fi, hit Y and press enter. Once the Edison is done scanning for access points, choose the number of the access point for with the network you want to join. Type Y and hit enter to connect to that network. It will probably ask you for a network password. Go ahead and enter in your Wi-Fi network password. Once it is connected, it will give you an IP address for the Edison. To verify that IP address, you can type ifconfig and hit enter. You will see WLAN 0 and the INET address, which is your IP address for that Edison. We can also try pinging a known site, such as Google. So just type ping space www.google.com and hit enter. It will start pinging Google and come back with replies. If you see those replies, that means your Edison is now connected to the network. Hit Control c to end it. If you take that IP address that we found when we typed ifconfig in the Edison, you can paste that into a browser. So we're gonna open up Chrome here and type in 10.8.0.242, which is the IP address for my Edison, and that'll bring up a page showing the device information. Notice that the host name is exactly what we typed in for the name of the Edison earlier, and that verifies that Wi-Fi is working. You're gonna need that network connection for our next episode. I'm gonna have our software expert come on and show us how to install and use Intel's XDK IoT edition to program the Edison, as well as make a smartphone app that we can use to communicate with the Edison. You'll definitely wanna stay tuned for that.